Hey everybody, this is Matt Dewmaster with Alpha Game Reviews, coming to you with a first look review of Lichdom Battle Mage, early access game that's been out on Steam for a few months, well a couple months I do believe, uh, but it's recently been making the rounds at a lot of uh, big websites who have been uh, looking at it in very different, various different ways, giving the developers a lot of interviews and etc. So I wanted to see if this game is really going to live up to the hype or if it's maybe uh, overstretching a little bit. Uh, the first thing I noticed when I started playing this game was that the CryEngine 3 logo came up and as you can probably see even after the YouTube artifacting and what have you, this is a pretty nice looking game. The polygon counts are generally quite high, texture resolution is very good, uh, spell effects are excellent, and uh, that's that's great because the entire point of this game, according to the developers, is to give you the chance to be a, a battle mage in a game and not feel hampered by, let's just say, the need for balance. This is a game about mages, all mages, all the time, and there's no need to balance it with other classes. So there's no ban mana bars, there's no huge restrictions on what you can do. You just go crazy and, and cast spells, AoE spells, you know, huge fireballs and what have you. Let's go into combat here and show you what I'm talking about exactly. So the um, left mouse button does your normal attack, which can, ch which can charge up to a crit, an automatic crit. The right mouse button does a block and if you time that exactly right you get a nice little nova burst so let's see if we can do that again nope it's actually pretty hard to time correctly though and this game doesn't really mess around i mean it's it's it is somewhat difficult um it doesn't forgive screwing up readily. Now I'm kind of asking around here because we are doing the video, but but as you can see, it's definitely not the easiest game in the world. So let's go ahead and rush back into combat and also show you some e AoE spells. Probably the most effective tactic really is to stand back and uh, cast the charge spell. Go all the way up to crit. Do it again. There's also a blink, which you activate by using the space bar. And you can even charge that up in order to get away from enemies and to do a Nova when you land. Ooh, that's a nice little charge attack there, buddy. I was a little bit concerned when I started playing this game that since it's supposed to be about making you feel like a badass mage that it would go overboard and make the game mechanics really simple and really easy and it would just be, you know, a bunch of pretty spell effects. But that doesn't seem to be the case. There's definitely some gameplay going on here. And you have to make some pretty, you know, intelligent decisions about what you're going to be doing at any particular time. This guy. All right, awesome. So we got through them. Let's see what this big glowing blue thing is up here. And it appears to be a health container. The health is these three wards over here, and once they're all gone, uh, you you die. You need to start at the next, the latest checkpoint. There doesn't seem to be a save anywhere system, so you know that might annoy some people. Hmm. This looks dangerous. This could get really ugly. 
Carl's messing with the dead now. Oh, story time. You have the braces, Shay, and the strength to use them. Do not doubt yourself now. Oh, I can do it. With these weapons, try and stop me. Great. And some of the ghosts of lies. But I'm the dragon. You are called a dragon in this game for reasons I've yet to really understand. And I wouldn't be surprised if they basically came down to it sounds badass. Eh, whatever. Story seems to be sort of beside the point. Um, it's decently voice acted, but it's not the kind of thing that you're probably going to care about all that much. Basically, there's a bad cult. Uh, they do bad things. You were going to join them, but they were going to make you have sex in public with a stranger. <laughs> and you, you didn't want to do that, because it would betray your wife. So they killed your wife. Although you can't play a female character in this game, so maybe you, in that case you get your husband killed. And, um, yeah, now you have uh, powers, thanks to a mysterious mage. And you can get your revenge. I mean, look how beautiful this game looks. It's not the best looking game I've ever seen, but this is really a really nice looking game for an early access from a relatively small developer. And I do have the graphics all the way up to Ultra. Um, well, I think they're. Mm, I think that it's called Ultra. Whatever the case is, you do have to have the hardware to run those graphics. I have a few video cards I have access to, one of which is a GTX 660. When I was running the game on that, at 2560 by 1440, I found that the frame rates were pretty poor, generally in the mid 20s. Now I've got a GTX 780 Ti in, and I can easily run at a VSync 30, 30 frames per second, which is the only VSync sync option um, that appears to be in the game right now. The graphical options are pretty limited. Uh, there are various presets, but your choices as far as what those presets mean are pretty limited. Uh, so you can't like change blur and shadow detail and etc. in fine fine grain detail right now. Ooh, this guy looks pretty good. This guy looks dangerous. I like his helmet though. There's that cool Nova. Ha <laughs> you're on fire. Now besides fire spells you also have ice and a third category I've yet to unlock. Uh, the fire spells, I mean, it's pretty much what you'd expect. Fire spells do damage every time. Ice spells uh, will slow them down. And the third category, like I said, I haven't unlocked yet, so I don't know yet. But um, you switch between them with the scroll wheel or with one, two, three. And the kind of attacks you can do with each one are the same. So it's, it's mainly... Um, concerning what kind of spell effects you want to have in your primary uh, attack, your block attack, in your ooh, and in your blink, and in your AoE attack. I drew on that whip and there were ghosts in it. You want to tell me what that was about? Not ghosts, but echoes. Reflections of the past. Cast by those with eyes to you, would it come? So now we know what the kidnappers are up to. And these echoes look like components from my spells. I'm not thinking. Huh. So that was the previous day. Come on. There we go. Awesome. Now those little things that uh, you pick up the little orbs are actually rather important. They're part of the crafting, uh, spell crafting system, which I'm still kind of getting the bear bearings with. It's pretty complex, but the general idea seems to be that you can take these various different effects um, and put them into, to make sort of a custom spell. So, um, see, I want, I want to make a fire spell. Okay, fire spell. Now, Let's say I want to do an AoE spell. So I'm going to make, I'm going to use this one with a plus 15% critical damage multiplier. 
plus three AOE radius, plus one augment slots. Okay, so I'm going to put that in. Right, and now I can choose a few other things. I can choose um, between mastery, control, and destruction, which correlates with um, mastery is the 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 spell part portion that I have not unlocked yet. Destruction is fire. Control is your ice. So I'm going to put in some fire here and craft and equip. And now that's going to going to make my spell more effective. The synthesis is you can take these actual orbs that you've collected and put them together in order to create uh, more powerful orbs and customize them as you desire. There does appear to be an element of randomness there, though. And then the spells that you create, you can come over here and put them into the various slots. So I already put my impact and meteor storm in there. Um, which actually, as you can see, it, it does a little bit less damage um, than uh, like one seven point one seconds burning on the meteor storm, seven seconds on the impact of meteor storm. So that's not a big deal. But you can also see I've got bigger AOE radius. I've got uh, an increase to the status effect duration and an increase to critical damage. So all that is nice. And I can do that for each of these three different schools of spells. So let me switch back to my fire spells. And that is the AoE. There's another guy behind me. Yes, there is. Oh shit, this guy's got it. He's got some sort of rapid fire crossbow. That's pretty awful. Awful for me, anyway. So, this is the first level, and I'm already seeing a fair amount of monster variety, which is great. Um, as far as bugs go, you know, this is an early access release. So there are a few there bugs, few nothing that has been game stopping so far. The main issues that I've seen have been primarily related to graphics. There's been some, the, there's this main fellow that comes along in the game early on, gives you your powers. His cape looks a little weird. It clips through him in a strange way. Um, I saw a character in a cutscene move across, you know, the uh, my field of view in this sort of weird herky jerky. It looked like. I was on a multiplayer game and it was lagging, but I mean that's that's pretty much the worst of it, as far as I've seen so, you know, while playing this game so far. Um, ooh, what is going on? Oh crap! I've seen this lady before. You, you were Shaxx's other guest at the party. How are you awake? Sounds to me, Roth's on the side of the path. So that's the lady, the cult master, wanted to, wanted to me and her to have sex in public, and we were like, mm, "We're not doing that. That's kind of weird." And so he killed our significant others or something. Oh, okay. Now you may have noticed her mouth didn't exactly move when she was talking. No, another small, small indication that this is still an early access game. Well, besides that, besides those little, little, you know, little, you know details, this details, is a this beautiful, is game. beautiful game. The concept, the concept is, really is really good. And, you know, from, and, you know, from what I can say what about can say 45, 45 minutes to an hour, hour into the, the title and title working through the basic, basic systems, systems, enjoying some of the fights, some of the fights and the introduction, and the introduction it, seems it really seems solid. really solid. Now, it is $20. Now it is $20. And, you and, know, that's... You know, that's that's maybe that's a, a maybe a some people are going to think that's a lot for early access. access. Other people are going to think it's not a lot at all because there are people who are paying two hundred dollars to play, you know, 
you know, elite dangerous elite in beta, beta or what have you. Or what have so you. it depends so on your perspective. Depends on your perspective. If, you if you ask me if, 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 this, if title this title interests you, if the idea of the idea having an action game, game centered, around centered around magic in the magic first person perspective, first person perspective it's interested in you, I wouldn't hesitate. I would just I would just get it. It seems like seems like it's an experience that's really going to pull pull through and the developers and obviously you know they've come this far made this beautiful of a game so they do <laughs> they do seem to know what they're doing to an extent they're not just some you know newbies who um, said hey wouldn't it be cool if you know there's some actual real technical skill and detail here so if you have any comments on the game if you've played it if you agree disagree um, you know leave your notes uh, below the video uh, otherwise I think I want to definitely keep playing this title some more and uh, maybe do, do an update of my thoughts uh, once I get closer to the end of the game. Thanks for watching. This is Matt Doom Master signing off and as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you hear.